Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to another interesting video of this Photoshop tutorial. Guys, this tutorial is regarding how to color black and white images. We all have some of the other old black and white images with us. So today, in this I'm going to show you what is the best and easy technique of coloring black and white images. This is Dhruv and welcome to my channel. Stay tuned to this video. So I have this black and white image with me and uh, I'm going to show you how to color this black and white image. So uh, this is my, and I have this another palette of a skin tone. This is a palette of a skin tone. So we're going to use this colors to, you know, color the skin part of this uh, image. So what I'm going to do is I just bring this uh, skin tone palette in this image only. And uh, here is my this palette so that I can pick color from this. And uh, now the, there's just the easiest way to do is now I'm just going to select the skin tone color, the color that I want. And I'm just going to color this image. Pick the background layer in which the image is there. And you can see this adjustment layer. So we will select this solid color as the adjustment layer. Now I have the solid color. In this, I'm going to choose my skin tone, the skin tone that I want to use in this image. So let's see, I have uh, picked this tone and this is my, uh, this, this is my solid color fill and I have got this skin tone with me. So in this blending modes, you, as you can see, this is on normal mode. I'll just change this blending mode onto color. And now you can see this color is evenly spread on this image. So <clears throat> what are we going to do is this is my, you know, I'm just going to invert this layer mask. So just press control I and this layer mask has been inverted and select any brush tool. So this is my brush tool. And just remember that uh, foreground color should be white and background color should be black. And after that, you can select the brush size. It should be a soft brush that I have taken. It's a soft brush and you can select the size of the brush as per your convenience and just zoom into image, brush it on the face part on which you want to color the skin tone. Do remember to do it finely as it should not disturb the hair and other parts of the image. So like this, you can do it and just you know brush it all over the image you can zoom the image to do it more in a more refined manner i'll just reduce the brush size same i'm gonna do it with this eye also i'm just coloring the skin part as you can see i'm not not touching the hair at all So uh, like this, I'm going to color the full image and with just uh, this, uh, you know, adjustment layer, I'm going to do it. And there are more, uh, you know, techniques of adjusting the image highlights and the shadow parts. And I'm just going to tell you that later in this tutorial. In this the advantage is that you know it automatically detects the highlights and as well as the shadow parts of the image and it retains the level of brightness uh, as well as you know the shadows and all the highlights of the image. Initially when we selected it, it was just a solid color but uh, you know as we selected this blending mode as color so this retains all the brightness as well as the you know all the levels of light that are present original level of light that are present in the image do remember to keep the opacity as 100% as well as the flow also at 100% if you have time you can you know you can do it in a very refined manner 
you can select the image and then also you can color it so that you know the color that doesn't spill on the other parts of the image so more or less the skin part is done now comes the lips so for that I'm just gonna take another color I'm just gonna take another solid color and this uh, I'm gonna take uh, this shade I'm taking the darker shades because already there is enough brightness and the levels of highlights are too much in this image. So I'm just taking the colors on a darker side. Again I'm gonna place this color mode, the blending mode as color. And now comes to invert the layer mask. So I'm pressing Ctrl I and now you can try to you know color the lips. If you want you can always change the color of the image you know, like the colors you are using if you want to rectify or want to change any color you can anytime you can use their different color in this image like <clears throat> if I want to change this shade so I just want to double click this color palette and I can you know change the tone of the color. Now comes the hair part. So if you want to give the hair a little you know golden look so you just uh, need to select another another color and uh, and this time I'm just taking this shade. I'm just inverting the hair mask and just try to paint on the hair. And then you can actually you know get to see whether the shade is correct or no you know there is always a chance to rectify the colors in this in this technique you can always try to rectify the color if you don't want the shade you can always change the shade that's the best part you know of coloring the image in this So I've given the shade to the color. If you want to change, you can always, you know, we can edit this and try some new shade. So yes, I can, you know, change the hue a bit. Just change the saturation level a bit as well as the brightness to get the perfect shade of the hair that you want. This is it. So I have taken this shade, this light brown shade and I'm finalizing this. Now uh, as far as the skin is concerned, what we can do is the skin is looking a bit on a you know whiter side. So what we can do is we can uh, try to change the shade of the palette it's now it's more you know you can see it's getting more saturated in color it gives a warm tone to the skin you know so i'm selecting this shade and a little, little bit is left here is i think so yes you know it requires a lot of patience to do it in a very uh, efficient way now what I'm gonna adjust it, the, almost my skin uh, tone is done now, a uh, little bit is left, what I'm gonna do is, as far as the eyes are concerned, so give a shade to these eyes. Now for the eyeballs if you want, either we can leave it this way only because it's not looking bad. But if you want to change the shade of the eyeball, you need to take another color. So I'm taking, this time I'm taking brown. So, I have 
also colored the eyeballs of the image and now almost everything is done now i'm gonna tell you how to adjust the levels of brightness as well as you know the saturation of the image as you can see there are portions which are dark in shade and these are the highlighted areas of the image so if you want to tweak these a bit what you can do is we can place a curves adjustment layer and from here we can you know adjust the image now this will this is affecting overall image if you want the particular uh, like area then you need to do it like the same way we have done it for the others so as you can see now the image is properly saturated and the all the levels of brightness and the you know the shadowed part of the image are also done for this ring we can give another shade to this uh, ring as it's a black in color I just want to bring this into your notice that while coloring if uh, you know the color spills over the other parts of the image like uh, while coloring the hair some of the color is spilling on the background so what we can do is uh, as you can see we have always always kept white color in the foreground and black as the background color you can just invert this and paint it again over the image so for the hair part this was the hair i think so this yeah this was the color of the hair so just come to this layer mask just uh, you know invert this black should be in the foreground and white should be in the background and then you just paint it over this so that will remove you know any affected areas that you have painted by mistake so there's a little bit of color spilling on the background that i am just trying to treat it we have selected black color in foreground so that you know that deletes the color on the layer mask and when we select the white as the foreground color that adds the color on the layer mask so this is the main concept so if if you want to delete and you know the layer mask over this image so you need to select the black color and if you want to add something to the layer mask you need to select the white color so overall as you can see the image is uh, you know paint uh, colored now it's it was a black and white image and uh, you see how beautiful it is looking now so this is the best and the easiest way by which you, you can color any black and white image there are other ways also but i find that this is the best and the easiest technique to do it so if you like this video you can hit the like button and if you have any doubts or any comments you can always uh, you know comment me in the comment box i'll be very happy to answer them thank you so much and do subscribe to my channel